Hi everyone, it's Momoko, let's learn violin. In this video, I'll be going over what to do and what to have when starting violin. Let's get started. How to get the instrument. Violin comes in many sizes depending on how long your arm is. This violin is a full size and is the biggest size you can get. I believe I was a full size since 6th grade, for your reference. And there are smaller sizes such as 8th, half, quarter, even 16. Um, and I highly recommend um, getting a rental for the smaller violins just because you'll have to um, get a bigger size as they grow. So um, buying a violin, I would recommend just the full size. When buying a violin, I highly, highly recommend going to a violin store in person instead of buying it online. Because when you go to a violin store in person, they will measure the violin size for you. And also, depending on the size of your hand or the length of your neck, you might need to look for something specific. For example, you might have to look into the thickness of the violin neck or the height of the chin rest. My friend who has a really long neck had to get a really high chin rest. So things like these, if you go to a violin store in person, uh, they'll take a look at it and if they're nice, they might even swap it um, with what you need, like there. Opposed to buying it online, you'll have to figure out everything on your own. Probably buy everything separately, like the violin, the bow, like case, everything. Um, and I've also heard of incidents where the violin came broken. So taking that into consideration, violin stores will be a lot easier and a lot more efficient and worth it. What to have besides the instrument? You will need a case, claw, rosin, shoulder rest or sponge, and a music stand. Usually, if you get your instrument from a violin store, the first four things that I just said would be included in the purchase. Let's talk about the cases. So when you get your violin from the store, it will come in a free case like this, where you can hold it like a backpack or you can hold it by the handle, but generally it will look quite similar to what I am showing you. Now the case that I have is a BAM case um, this one is sturdier um, and I, it will definitely not come in this case when you purchase a violin. It's way too expensive. Um, I got this for my uh, a college acceptance gift for my parents, so I really love it. Cloth, again, it will come with the instrument if you get it from a store, um, but it'll look something like this. Honestly, in this case, you can just use any kind of cloth that you have at home. Um, something very thin will be better. But um, So what you do with this is that you wipe off the rosin dust from the violin strings and then under the strings, like, you'll just wipe off the violin surface, something like this, along with the bow, um, they'll get rosin dust on the stick. I don't know if you can see, but it's like white. So you'll wipe them off occasionally without touching the bow here. Something like this. Rosin. The one I have looks like this. It's in a circular form with cloth around it. Um, this is not really typical for beginners. Usually the rosin that comes with the instrument will be in a rectangular form and probably a darker color. Mine's just a little bit lighter and it's from Mellows if you're interested. Um, I personally like this brand's rosin. But anyways, you put rosin on the bow hair just like this without touching the rosin or the bow hair. You'll need to put a lot of rosin on the bow when you first get your instrument because it will probably not have rosin at all. And you need rosin dust on the bow here so that it creates friction whenever you move the bow on the string. And that's what makes the sound. 
if you try to play the violin um, without rosin on the bow, it won't really make a sound. Shoulder rest or sponge. Typically, if you're a beginner, I would recommend starting off with a sponge just because it's more softer and probably more comfortable. Now, for the sponge, it can be anything just not used and not wet. I repeat, do not use a wet sponge, please. In fact, do not put anything wet, hot, or cold near the instrument. Um, this includes air conditioner or heater or I don't know, having the violin in the kitchen for some reason. Just don't do that, it will be severely damaged. Anyway, how to set up the sponge on the violin. You'll need a sponge and two rubber bands. So first you'll flip the violin, face it this way. You'll put the sponge under the chin rest. Yes. Now after you set it, you'll use the first rubber band and wrap it around. Look like this in the front, it'll look like this in the back. Now we need another one to make an X. So in the front, it'll look like this. I don't have four fine tuners, but the rubber band will go under the fine tuner. It'll look like this, and in the back, it'll look like this. Or something similar enough. A disclaimer for using the sponge, it might be a little slippery, uh, so I recommend getting a sponge that has one surface that's not slippery, or having a cloth under the sponge so that it'll stop the moving. And when you put back the instrument in the case, you'll have to take off the sponge. So first, I will probably just take out the sponge. If you want, you can keep the rubber band on there so that you don't have to keep setting it all the time. But if not, um, take it off one by one. And put it in your case. How to put on a shoulder rest. Same way as putting on a sponge but you want to flip it and I say you want to make a smiley face out of your shoulder rest. So this is considered a smiley face. It's a little hard to tell with my shoulder rest but this would be a not smiley face. Anyways, so you put on one side first and then look the other side. And there, done. I think usually uh, the left side will go a little lower than the right. But depending on the person, you'll adjust accordingly. It's very flexible. You can also adjust the height with the side. You can just keep twisting. You either twist the foot or you have something to twist on the side. And then taking off is easy. And then you'll put this in the case as well when you're done practicing. Lastly, music stand. I personally like this one where it has the full surface compared to a portable stand, but just having a music stand is what's important. I know a lot of people practice uh, placing their music on their desk or shelf or anywhere, but not the best because it tends to create a really bad posture while practicing. So having a music stand, it's adjustable the height is adjustable so please 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 practice with the music stand to summarize this video when buying a violin highly recommended to go to a violin store instead of buying it online and what to have aside from the violin you will need a case cloth rosin shoulder rest or sponge and a music stand I hope that helped and in the next video I'll be going over how to hold a violin, how to hold a bow, and how to practice for them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video!